YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, hit that bell notification icon. Happy Halloween. Whoa, what's going on guys? I don't know what happened there. I don't know what got into me. But happy Halloween. Hope everyone's having a great day today. We're gonna go over the Buzz TV VidStick Plus. I don't know if you guys remember, but I got this maybe. And we're gonna unbox this thing. We're gonna check out what is inside. And then we're gonna set it up, check out some of the settings. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we're gonna be making more videos to come. So let's get started. What's up, everyone? So this is the Bitstick Plus. I'm gonna check out what's inside. Check it out. We're gonna check out the outside of the box. Here we go. Buzz TV, Bitstick Plus. Let's check out some of the specs on the back. Once again, four gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, a USB 3.0 slot, four core CPU, micro SD, Android 9, 4K Ultra HD lots and lots of features on this device and there you go that's your picture on the back of the box so let's open this thing up and see what's inside so the box itself actually very good quality nice logo on the front and check it out here we go So we got a box, in a box, there's like a little plastic covering to protect the device. And also it's in a plastic covering. So pretty awesome the way they package their devices, lots of protection. So here we go. Got your USB 3.0 slot here. And your TF slots there, DC slot, and your IR plug here. And of course, this is what you're going to put into the back of your TV on the HDMI slot. So that's your device. Nice logo on there. It's very, very light. Very, very light. So then we got, check this out, a remote controller with the velvet travel bag, power supply, extender, and IR sensor extending cables. Just look at that packaging. Pretty, pretty awesome. So there we go. We're gonna open up our power supply. So it comes from, you know, different um, plugs, depending where you're at in the world, on the planet. You got your regular US plug right here, and your two other ones right here. And that's pretty cool. You would just slide it into the top like that, just like that. Pretty cool. Push that one out. Put the other one in. Pretty cool. Awesome feature. These guys think of everything. And then of course you got your power cable. And of course it's the micro USB. You would think with newer devices they'd probably come out with USB-C but I'm pretty sure in the future they'll be going to that soon. So USB-C, I mean not USB, USB, um, micro USB cable. So pretty, pretty sure soon enough they'll be going to USB-C, but for now they're sticking with the micro USB cable. Nice. 
Alright, so next we got our IR sensor and fender cables. Nice packaging once again. Nice little boxes. So I like how it separates everything. So of course, this is your IR sensor cable. This will be plugged into this slot right here, the IR slot. Put that in there, and then you can put it to where your remote control can read that. And then of course, your HDMI extender, just in case you got your TV mounted in a tight spot and you can't really reach. And uh, actually, this one's actually you know longer than the one that the Fire Stick comes with, so that's pretty cool. Check that out. And then you got your remote controller and velvet travel bag. It comes with batteries. Not a lot of Android devices come with batteries and their energizer energizer max at that so pretty awesome pretty awesome comes with your remotes and the velvet bag it's a travel bag if you want to take this device on the go so we'll keep it nice and safe let's check out this remote here it's got looks like it's got a lot of features check this out you got your live tv button home button guide button, volume control, channel controls, TV power off, TV source, play pause, it's got a lot of features and on the back it even tells you um, how to program your TV power plus source key buttons. So it gives you all the instructions here and then of course in your manual as well it's going to come with that. So pretty awesome. This remote control does not feel cheap. Feels like a very good quality. So that's about it guys. We are set. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the setup process. All right guys, so we're here setting up the Buzz TV Vidstick Plus. We're going to get started in pairing our remotes. So of course it tells you to pair your remote, press OK, and volume buttons until the remote LED flashes red. So we're going to do that. Remote found, you'll see that, it says status, remote found. And it's connected. So we're going to select our language, time zone. All right, so we're selecting our time zone. And then we're just gonna select our resolution. And uh, we're gonna go with 4K, 2K at 60 Hertz. Screen size, just click on done, because we should be good. You can adjust it if you need to. Configure your network, we're gonna connect to our Wi-Fi. And then once you connect your Wi-Fi, it's going to check for updates. All right, so there you have it. That is your home screen. Of course, you got your live TV section. So if you do have a service, that's where you're going to put it into. If you have a VOD service, that's where you put that into. EPG, put the M3 for your EPG in there, got all apps, your option for all apps. So it's going to come with some pre-installed applications, Aptoid TV, Bus TV 4, Clock, File Browser, Team Viewer, Quick Support, of course your settings, YouTube, and Netflix. And of course your Netflix is not going to be the 4K version. High definition is just going to be your standard definition. And of course, you got your Google Play Store still installing applications uh, once you set it up. You got your Chrome.
And then here's an app store, which is your app toy TV. Buzz TV utilities. So you got, you can check for your system updates. No updates found. Backup and restore, home screen rows, power options, navigation bar, of course your home screen. And then of course you, can, you have your settings, you can change your network, change uh, connect to a different Wi-Fi if you go to a friend's house. And then of course accounts and sign in, you can sign into your Google account. And you can use the Play Store and the Google Play Store, so that's pretty cool as well. So, device preferences. You can go to About, and then, of course, do the developer options by clicking Build seven times. And there you go, you got your device name, Divistic Plus, Android version 9, storage, so it does say 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but of course after all the pre-installed applications, you have a total space of 25 gigabytes of internal storage. Of course, you do have the TF slot if you want to add a micro uh, SD card. And then you do have a USB 3.0 slot. You can put a USB as well. So I'm going to go ahead and install file linked and uh, get that going so we can sideload some applications. I'm just going to use Chrome because that's what we got. Or we can open up actually uh, Aptoy TV and we can install some applications from here. Smart YouTube TV. This is ad for YouTube. Got Facebook. Uh, it's got a lot of applications that you can install from here. Some games, applications. So of course it has my apps, you have your Netflix, YouTube for Android TV, Team Viewer Quick Support, you can update them from here, so that's pretty cool as well. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are getting more info on this device. And who knows, maybe you guys will like it, purchase one for yourself. I have the link down below in the description if you guys are looking to check out this item. And uh, check out the price. Of course, I got a coupon code for y'all. Grunt Streams, capital, capital G, capital S. You put that in and get 10% off on your device. So uh, if you like this video, once again, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell icon because more videos are coming on these devices. So appreciate everyone's support and I will see you guys in the next one.